What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Today a new brand was announced for Farming Simulator 22, Bon Silage. Along with that, quite a few new pieces of equipment were shown off, plus a new gaming mechanic as well. So today, we're going to take a look at everything that we saw in the video, starting off with the video itself. I'm also going to be talking about and comparing the new gameplay to mods that are already out for Farming Simulator 19. So I'm going to be leaving links in the description to all of those mods if you want to check them out for yourself and get used to those new gaming mechanics and mods early. That being said, let's take a look at the new video. <laughs> Alright, let's start with what the video is mainly about, Bon Silage and their additives. They say players in Farming Simulator 22 can apply our new Silage inoculants, which are the first Silage additives to ever be included in a Farming Simulator game. Thus, the Farm Sim franchise gets more realistic than ever before. Build the applicators with Bon Silage to improve your outcome of Silage, just like in real life. Basically, using this additive in Farming Simulator 22 is going to allow you to increase the yield of your silage, although the gaming mechanic hasn't exactly been explained yet. A few things that we do get to see are glimpses at new machinery, including some big John Deere stuff. So let's dive right in. In the opening scene, we see the Manitou MC coming back to Farmson, taking some bond silage off the back of an older pickup that we have not seen before yet. We then see the MC taking the bond silage into a very American barn and storing it. This gameplay is all from the new USA map Elm Creek, by the way, which is great for the machinery that we're about to see. We then transfer over to a John Deere tractor, which looks to be a newer 6 Series of some kind, maybe a 6R, uh, and some Pottinger mowers. I just don't know which John Deere that is. Specifically, the back mower, though, that is the Pottinger Novagat A10, which we already have a mod of in Farm Sim 19 by Chrissy136. These mowers are swathing the grass all together in a row, which is a very popular and easy way to do it, but we don't have a lot of base game machinery that will do this. Now, to just mess up the word machinery, the mod from Farm Sim 19 will also do this though. Our next big scene brings us to the John Deere again, but this time with a Pottinger Jumbo 1020 Combi Line loading wagon on the back, which resembles the mod for Farm Sim 19 from Mlody and the MC Manitou, bringing over the pallet of Bond Silage silage inoculant this is then loaded up from the loading wagon again to likely increase the yield of the loaded product or to add it to the grass as it comes in the feature can also be simulated in farming simulator right now by downloading the dr modding mod pottinger toro combi line which adds an additive to the loading wagon so you can have that there next is a really good look around the cow farm which was teased during farmcon live stream back with giants in july you guys may have seen that in some of the gameplay that they did they showed it off and they didn't even know it we get to see the silage clamp and the cows in the surrounding area again with this being a usa map uh the elm creek map we get to see a nice sense of being 
in the middle of nowhere, kind of secluded from everyday life, and even more secluded than Ravenport felt. Then the star of the show is revealed, the John Deere 9700i Forge Harvester. Oh yeah, this has been a very popular Forge Harvester in Farming Simulator 19 after its release around a year ago, and it is great to see Giants bringing it back. In Farm Sim 19, this is part of the Kemper Pack, which is a free download on the Mod Hub by Giant Software. That pack includes four headers and the John Deere 9000 Series Forge Harvester and can be downloaded now for all platforms. We then get to see the Forge Harvester pulling up next to an older pickup, again, the same one that we saw at the beginning of the video, which has the Bond Silage Palette on the back. I'm not an expert on silage additives by any means, so I'm not sure if this is applied by the Forge Harvester, if this is just an action shot showing the size of the machine versus the pickup. We never actually see any of the Bond Silage disappear. Either way, I'm happy to see John Deere getting some more attention in Farming Simulator 22. Speaking of action and John Deere, we get a good look at the John Deere 7810 tractor hauling a new Cueco trailer, which resembles the Cueco Pullbox 8000H by Smeddy that we already have as a mod in Farm Sim 19 right now on Mod Hub for all platforms. This is then filled up by the John Deere Forge Harvester with chaff and then carted off back to the cow farm. And that's exactly where we see these as the John Deere 7810 then brings the chaff over to the bunker and puts it on top of the grass that was deposited earlier in the video. And we get a great look at the backside of the cow farm, which I am loving. Super American, I am digging it. Our closing shot is at the cows and them all just sitting in the row eating out of the food trough, which if you've been playing farm sim long enough, you know, it's not really where they're eating right now. They just have a basic animation and walk around the animal mesh eating whatever's below their feet at the time of their animation. It's really great to see them actually eating out of the food trough. And I really hope that this is something that comes to the gameplay. And that's it. That's the new gameplay trailer that we got today from the brand Bond Silage. Again, they are a USA based company that specializes in silage inoculants and silage additives and will be making their digital debut in Farming Simulator 22, which is going to be released on Monday, November 22nd, 2021. We are like two and a half months away. I'm so excited. It's going to be released on PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series, and Google Stadia. If you guys are on PC and would like to pre-order the game or the year one season pass right now, Check out the links below and make sure you use code DJ Goham. That's going to help go to help support the channel. At no additional cost to you. And 100% of the proceeds from the Farming Simulator 22 pre-orders are going back into giveaways so that if you can't get the game, you're still going to have a chance to get one of the giveaways. And I also want to make sure that everyone that wants to play the game is able to play the game. And again, thank you to everyone who has used that code so far. Also, I'm using all of the stuff from all the Farming Simulator 19 stuff. Uh, yeah, I actually haven't cashed in anything yet. So we've got like over a year's worth just sitting in there. We got a lot of giveaways to do. If you have any questions at all about Farming Simulator 22, the new equipment that was shown off today, the brand Bond Silage or Silage Additives or anything else, post those in the comment section below and check out the description for helpful links to other things that you may be interested in as well. You can also find the Farming Simulator 22 playlist link down there so you can see every bit of information that has been announced for Farming Simulator 22 so far. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. Go double check them so that you never miss any future Farming Simulator 22 content or daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All that being said, I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you later.